technology, inventions, science, the world of humans was never more advanced than it is nowadays. Still, uncountable numbers of technologies were lost through time, or found but not fully understood, how they were made? Sometimes not even how they function? Or what's their use? I have gathered here a list of 10 famous examples. Number 10. The Stradivari Violins. Named after the Stradivari Italian family, or more precisely Antonio Stradivari, who is generally considered the most significant and greatest artisan in this field. It is estimated that he made 1,000 to 1,100 instruments, which only around 600 of them are left, and each one of them has become world famous for having an unparalleled and impossible to reproduce sound quality. The technique for building Stradivari instruments was a family secret known only by patriarch Antonio Stradivari and his sons, Amabono and Francesco. Unfortunately, that process died with them. Number 9. Nepenthe. A drug of forgetfulness, as mentioned in ancient Greek literature and Greek mythology like Homer's Odyssey, depicted as originating in Egypt. The Greeks were known to treat the bereaved with Nepenthe, a primitive antidepressant that was known for its ability to chase away sorrow. Some claim that it might be fictional, but others have argued that the drug was real. The drug is most likely still used today, but historians are unable to pinpoint just what modern substance the Greeks were referring to. Number 8. The Anti-Ither Mechanism one of the most mysterious of all archaeological artifacts ever found. It was recovered in 1900 from the Antikythera wreck, a shipwreck off the Greek island of Antikythera. Scientists have dated it to the 1st or 2nd century BC. Its true purpose is still not fully known, but scientists agree that it is an ancient analog computer designed to predict astronomical positions and eclipses. The sophistication and precision evident in the design of the mechanism suggests that it was not the only device of its kind. Still, the existence of other devices like the Antikythera mechanism doesn't appear on the historical record until the 14th century. Which would mean that the technology was lost for nearly 1400 years, and no one knows how or why. Number 7. The Telharmonium. Or the Dynamophone, recognized as the world's first electronic musical instrument, with a weigh of 200 tons and could take up enough space to fill an entire room. It was developed by Thaddeus Cahill in 1897. The Telharmonium was an early electronic organ that used tone wheels to create synthetic musical notes that were then transmitted by wires to a series of loudspeakers. The user could manipulate it to reproduce the sounds of other instruments using a collection of keyboards and foot pedals. The problem was that it costed more than $200,000 and consumed a massive amount of energy. Today, Nothing remains of the original three telharmoniums, not even sound recordings. Number 6. The Library of Alexandria. Although it wasn't a technology, but it deserves a place on the list since it contained hundreds of lost technologies. The library was founded in Alexandria, Egypt in roughly 300 BC by Ptolemy Isoter, the Greek general and the successor of Alexander the Great. Some estimations say that it contained around one million scrolls. The Library of Alexandria and all its contents burned sometime around the 1st or 2nd century AD. Scholars are still uncertain of how the fire was started, but historical documents suggest that Julius Caesar accidentally burned it when he set fire to some of his own ships to block the path of an advancing enemy fleet. Still, something is sure, if the library remained, many of the technologies on this list would have never been lost. Number 5. Damascus Steel. Damascus Steel was an impossibly strong type of metal. It was widely used in the Middle East and sword making around 1100 and 1700 AD. It was said that blades forged with Damascus Steel were able to slice rocks and other metals cleanly in half. Damascus Steel was originally made from wood steel, a steel developed in India before the Common Era, but the method is still unknown. The special quality of the swords weaved together tough cementite and soft iron to form a metal that was as strong as it was flexible. The process of forging Damascus steel was lost around 1750 AD, some say it was due to the resources that started running low. But some others even claim that smiths didn't even know the true recipe in the first place, 
and had to forge many swords and test them to match Damascus steel standards. Number 4, Apollo Gemini Space Program Technology The Apollo and Gemini space programs of the 50s, 60s, and 70s were responsible for NASA's biggest successes. Gemini, which ran from 1965 to 1966, helped in the development of the mechanics of human space flight. And Apollo, achieved its goal of landing a crew on the moon in July of 1969. The Apollo and Gemini programs aren't truly lost, plenty of parts from the spacecraft capsule still available. But that doesn't mean modern scientists have the knowledge to understand how or why they work the way they did. In fact, there's a huge lack of schematics or records from the original programs. Because in most cases, private contractors were brought in to work on every individual part of the spacecraft. Once the programs ended, these engineers and their records moved on. Now that NASA is preparing a return trip on the moon, that caused big problems, because now they have to reverse engineer their old work. Number 3. Sulfium. Sulfium was a plant that the Romans used in classical antiquity as a rich seasoning and as a medicine. It was so critical to the Kyrenian economy that most of their coins bore a picture of the plant. It was said that it could be used to treat cough, sore throat, fever, indigestion, aches and pains, warts, and all kinds of maladies. Women would drink sulfium juice every few weeks because the plant was also able to prevent or even terminate pregnancy if used properly. Despite its remarkable effects, the particular genus of plant needed would only grow in one area along the Mediterranean in North Africa. Its scarcity, combined with an overwhelming demand, more than likely led to overharvesting, which drove the plant into extinction. Number 2. Roman Cement The concrete we use nowadays was developed in the 1700s, but it wasn't the first time concrete was invented. All of the Persians, Egyptians, Assyrians, and Romans, used concrete throughout antiquity. The Romans in particular made extensive use of concrete, and they were responsible for first perfecting the recipe by mixing burnt lime with crushed rocks and water. It allowed them to build many of their most famous structures, among them the Pantheon, the Colosseum, the Aqueducts, and the Roman Baths. Structures built with Roman cement have managed to weather thousands of years and remain standing. But buildings constructed with nowadays cement have been known to wear down much faster. The recipe for concrete was lost during the descent into the Dark Ages, some say that happened because the recipe was a secret among stone masons that died with them. Number 1. Greek Fire Perhaps the most famous lost technology, an incendiary weapon developed and used by the Eastern Roman Empire. Greek fire was typically used in naval battles as it could continue burning while floating on water. It could also be deployed in many different ways, such as poured into jars to form grenades or melode of cocktails. Or in warships using giant bronze tubes and siphons to spray it on enemies. They even made a primitive flamethrower held by hand. Modern theories propose that the weapon was more likely a cocktail of petroleum and other chemicals, possibly including quicklim, nitre, or sulfur. The Greek fire technology seems to be lost with the decline of the Byzantine Empire, but the reason why is still unknown. My time here is done for now. Don't forget to subscribe and share my video. See you on the next video. I really have many things to share with you my dear humans.